Good day, my love. I bring fair tidings, Ranvi. Heminger Jarl in Snottinghamshire has passed, but his clan remains allied to us. Sad news, but you made the best of it. I saw my old friend Vili on my visit. He has now joined our clan and will serve as a raider on my ship. I remember the young man. He will make a fine addition to your crew. My love. I want to see the Alliance map. Python received a message from Winchester, from someone calling himself a poor fellow soldier of Christ. Your hidden ally. Very interesting. More targets, I assume. Yes. So what do you think? Could it be a trap? As a West Saxon stronghold, Winchester will be a rather unwelcome place for you. But that is nothing you cannot handle. If you go, do not go boldly. I'll make my way to Winchester. The letter asked me to meet a man in white at a house of God, and then recite this phrase. When pride cometh, then cometh shame, but with the lowly cometh wisdom. A passage from their holy book, I believe. Interesting. Go with care. Hello everyone, and welcome to our Assassin's Creed Valhalla Let's Play. Today we embark upon our journey with the Reeve of Winchester. Even the mighty fall. And God's servant, the Bishop Aylfirth, was mighty indeed in defense of his God. He was a man of surpassing vigor, well versed in the Bible, quick of wit, oxen strong, meek as a lamb. A Dane treads the cobbles of God's house, in search of Christ's redemption, I hope. Your Christ can wait his turn. It's you I've come to see. Is that so? When pride cometh. Then cometh shame, but with the lowly cometh wisdom. You know these words, and you know why I speak them. I do, but I am not yet satisfied that you are the one for the task ahead. As Jesus said unto Thomas, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Speak the deeds of Christ in order. Only then will you cometh unto my Lord. Why deny the pleadings of an unwashed pagan who aches to know God? Take me as I am and I will do your Lord's bidding. How great is the burden of learning for one so unworthy. But I see that no amount of instruction in the Lord's words will save your soul. Come. Who am I to meet, priest? I cannot stand ah. waiting in silence. Shh. Even a fool, when he keeps silent, is considered wise. Yet men become wise by speaking with other men. They grow foolish when keeping to silence. Hush. Your prattling offends God's ears. <sighs> We're here. May Christ whose terror scares away the foul throngs, make with me a strong covenant. Was God's lesson instructive? Do all the priests in Winchester have this same skill for drama? You risk your life, Alfred King. I have invited you here to speak on equal terms. Do the Dane laws of hospitality not apply in Wessex? You gifted my Jarl to that well from the Order of Ancients, the warrior Fulke. Fulke was an enemy of Wessex. But it seems someone has already removed her threat from my lands. If you did not hear it was me, you have now. Impressive. The Order of Ancients has surely been crippled by her loss. How much do you know of this Order? Only this, and little more. This letter, signed by one who calls himself a poor fellow soldier of Christ, warns of a plot against my life.
The Gallows, the Quill, the Seeks. Free men eager to kill you. Two now. The Bishop Aelfirth is dead. He was the Seeks, so far as I can tell. And a humble servant of your god. That must sting. Still, his death has strengthened Christian fellowship in Winchester. I pray the deaths of his colleagues will do the same. You have faced warriors like me many times before, and many times you have lost or been cheated. Why trust me now? I have men in London and Jorvik. Men who send me reports on the rise and fall of the tides of war. Not long ago, men and women of some influence were murdered in those places. In oddly specific circumstances. When I received this letter from our poor fellow soldier, it did not take long to work out why. I don't know your motive, nor what you hope to gain. All I ask is that you finish the work you have begun before these fallen souls infest England further. I should let the Order kill you. It would speed our conquest of England. You may remove the organs of state. The cancer will remain. Then promise me a reward I can sing about. A healthy king's weight in silver. <sighs> Very well. As much as you can carry. This morning, my Reeve, Goodwin, was not at his post. A man you trust? Goodwin was following the clues given in this letter when he disappeared. Where was he last seen? At his house, by the West Gate. You may find something there. Eivor. Compose yourself while you are my guest. My city is not a battlefield. Not yet, Great King, but the day will come. Yeah, you hold on. Goodwin gone, and guards sniffing around. So where would they have taken him? Don't give me Alfred's jewel, I will... I shall whittle in your... Someone disagrees with Alfred educating the people of Winchester. Is this what you want? You filthy... Papers thrown on the fire. Goodwin covering his tracks, or the guards destroying evidence. Broken balls, food scattered. They took him by force. There must be a garrison in the city. A violent struggle with the guards. They must have taken him to Winchester's garrison. Thick walls and thicker guards. A place to keep a valuable man. <laughs> Reeve Selwyn ordered executions for petty theft and mudslinging. A husband and wife to be carried out soon.
A Dane in Winchester? These are strange times. King Alfred sent me, pleading from his bended knee to find someone. I know Alfred well enough to spot a bloody lie when I hear it. If he did send you, he was standing tall and proud. That he was, and you are the man I've come to find, Goodwin. Do you know why? If I had one guess, to find these heretics from the Order of Ancients, and bury them so deep, even God would need a shovel. So where do we start digging? My research should help us. If they haven't burned it already, it'll be somewhere nearby. I will find your research. Now go, before they find their wolf has fled his cage. Let's regroup beyond the walls! Goodwin's research against the Order of Ancients. I am grateful for your help. It's a brazen move to arrest Alfred's favored Reeve. This so-called order are nothing but deviled shit peddlers. Shit peddlers who have wormed their way into every crevasse of your country. They're dangerous. I didn't catch your name, did I? Eivor of the Raven Clan. Scourge of Mercia, if that name doesn't rattle some recognition. Well, Eivor, when our three heretics smolder on a heap of ash, we'll down a cup of ale together and share our distaste of Mercians like old friends. I found this nailed on a door. The quill wheels words like a knife. A disputation of tutelage. Pretty chatter with poisoned intent. I will look into this more. Alfred believes at least one is dead. Your bishop Aelfirth was the Sikhs. Bugger. Half of Winchester is in mourning for that nun groper. The gallows? What do you know of him? Must be another Reeve, I'm sure of it. Only we have the power to mete out justice, and this one would walk with cocksure righteousness. The gallows had you arrested, so he must command the law. Reeve Selwyn? Of course! That hedge pig has brought down laws like a hammer on Winchester, executing sinners on spurious charges in the square. Could it be another? He's the man. He's the only one who fits. End his terror, Eivor. <laughs> 